Dear students, today we will start the new ribbon of my preferred known as references. And in this ribbon, we will be focusing in today's module uh, two topics known as table of content and footnotes. So you might have seen in the start of the books, there is a table of content which shows that what are the main headings, what are the chapter numbers, chapter names, so that the reader at the start of the book get an idea that what kind of content is being covered in this book. So it gives you the whole picture of the book that whatever is being represented in this book. So we will make such table of content in Microsoft Word from a list of uh, pages and then we will also try to insert the footnotes in this module. So let's start the practical. I have prepared a document for you to show the effect of table of content. So here is a document that has different things. For example, I have written ITC, Microsoft Word, which we, we are studying at the moment, then Home Ribbon, Insert Ribbon, Microsoft Excel, which is our next topic, Animations, and Transition. So if I try to insert the table of content at the start so let's see what happened so i'm going into the references i click on table of content i selected a template and it says that uh, to add or remove items in the table of content select text in your document and then do one of the following apply a heading style from the styles gallery on the home tab so this means that we need to add the style information to this document. For example, in the previous module, we have learned that there are different styles available in home like this one. So what we are going to do, we will say this ITC as title, this Microsoft Word as heading one, this home ribbon as heading two because it is being covered within Microsoft Word and we can also do it a little bit identification as well then insert ribbon is again heading to and let's put it a little bit like this then microsoft excel is heading one animation is heading two and transition is heading two so let's see the effect now what happens if i click on table of content at the start of the document. So I went to references, I clicked on table of content, there are different formats available, so I have selected this one. And now you can see the table of content has been automatically generated. And this is the title, and the main heading has been placed before uh, the subheadings, as you can see and they have been identified as we have done it in the document. So it is also uh, having the page numbers which are automatically updated. Now suppose if you are going to add some content, for example over here, uh, or maybe from here, so that the home ribbon uh, moves forward in, on the next page. So let's see what will happen. So at the moment, home ribbon is at page number two, but in, your, in our table of content, home ribbon is at page number one because previously it was at one. So you can just right click on it and update the field. And it is asking that whether you have added new headings, then you should uh, select this option, update entire table. Or if you haven't added any new thing, then you can just update page numbers only and then you will see that home ribbon is now having the page number two. So in this way, you can generate table of contents. Uh, our next thing is uh, footnotes. For example, uh, you are writing something over here and you want to give a reference that I have taken this sentence from uh, some book or some uh, web page, or you want to further explain this point then you might have seen that there is an option that at the end of the page, there is a line and here are the footnotes written. 
So to generate such a footnote, you bring your cursor over here, click on the footnote and you can see what happened. You can see that it has been superscript and this one has been automatically generated over here. And here you can see that this is https www.youtube.com slash any video name or any URL you want to mention. So this would be automatically added. So this is called footnote. And there is another possibility you can um, also add the end note. So if you move over here, this one, this is next footnote, and this is how to show the notes. For example, your document has many, many notes. So you can click over it, and then it can sell, tell you that how many. Uh, footnotes are available at the moment and let's try another one here so there is no end note so now we have added a note over here so this is called insert end note which means that a uh, similar kind of um, thing happen as it happened in insert per footnote but the insert footnote was added on the same page where we did it but the end note will be added at the end of the uh, document so for example i show you here so if you add anything here like www.google.com and you can see this was added at the end of the document not at the same page however if i add it here any footnote then it would be added on the same page so you can add further details to your documents uh, based on this so let's conclude uh, our today's module we have learned two important things that how to add the table of content and how to add the footnotes and end notes and in the next modules we will be moving forward in the references ribbon